Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. So today we're going to unbox the drama box for autumn 2023. But before we do, please remember that we have a giveaway on our channel at this moment. If you haven't heard of it, I'm just going to link it up here. Just go and check it out. And now let's start the unboxing. So here is a quick sneak peek of the season's box. I can already see some like really nice items over here. So let's start with uh, this big bright one over here and this is murad environmental shield essential c cleanser so this is what it looks like so we have 200 mils over here it's a really good size isn't it so the rp of this product is 40 pounds this cleanser works to remove makeup gently exfoliate and hydrate the skin leaving it soft supple and rejuvenated that actually sounds good it also says here massage over dampened face and neck so if you use it on your wet skin i would not really trust this with removing my makeup i would just remove my makeup with like oil-based product and I think this is going to be brilliant as a second step cleanser in your evening routine or like your morning cleanser also vitamin c in the morning is definitely going to wake your skin up a little bit okay so that's definitely a good start next up we have some temple spa and this is toning essence without the alcohol balances and smooths essential mist tonic so this one contains tomato basil and melon it's like a salad isn't it Mediterranean skin refreshment. So we have 150 mils over here. It's worth 20 pounds. Revitalize and clarify with this alcohol-free toner that cools and refreshes your skin, leaving it ready for your favorite moisturizer. By the way, I haven't really seen an alcohol-based toner in ages now. I don't know if anybody actually does alcohol-based toners uh, still. So yeah, this is our mist and <laughs> I feel very tempted to give it like a quick sniff because I'm curious if it's going to smell like tomato and basil. It doesn't. No, it does have this very kind of pleasant uh, spa-like scent, but I don't really get any tomatoes for sure, which I guess it's good because I don't know. I think that would probably be a little bit weird. Anyway, uh, moving on. Next up, we have something by Philip Kingsley. So this is Bond Builder. Repair, strengthens and protects, split and remedy. And we have 50 mils. So this is worth 27 pounds. This treatment works to strengthen existing bonds, repair broken ones and seal split ends for healthier, more resilient hair. That sounds amazing. What do we do with that? Start with a large pea-sized amount spreading through mid-length and ends uh, of towel dried hair. Pay close attention to the most damaged areas. Apply more to thicker or more damaged hair. For best result, blow dry hair into desired style. So this is probably partially activated by blow drying. Uh, it's good to know because I let my hair air dry like most of the times, but but I hopefully remember not to do that uh, when I'm using this product. Okay, next up we have, oh, we have something by Kate Somerville. So what is this? We have lots of products inside, by the way. So this is Blemish Imperfections Eradicate Blemish Treatment. And we have 30 mils here. So this is 30 mils worth uh, 24 pounds. Rapidly achieve clear skin with this top rated blemish treatment featuring sulfur to swiftly clear skin, diminish redness and thwart future breakouts. Uh, that sounds amazing for someone who has a blemish prone skin. I do not, so I'm not going to be using this one. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And it says here, do not shake. That's interesting. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And uh, using a cotton swab, apply a small amount to clean dry skin on affected spots. So this is more like a targeted treatment. Okay, let's move on to our next product. And this is This Works Stress Check Mood Manager. What is this? Um, motion activated aromatherapy spray to create a soothing and balanced atmosphere. Let's see. So this is like a normal kind of spray. How, how is this motion activated? I don't understand. It says here, shake before use and spray on your skin, clothes and surroundings. Not suitable for use in silk. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, that's a good kind of piece of advice, right? Because some of us have like silk pillows, right? Uh, but um, why motion activated? I thought the motion activated would be something that actually like sprays when you're kind of like passing by or something. I've seen things like that. They always make me jump because you're like passing by and it just sprays at you. So that's weird. But I don't know how, I, I don't know what they mean by motion activated in this case. Um, it does smell really nice though. This one contains Lang Lang. So it's not like a very kind of potent uh, head inducing headache. It has almost like a floral component to it. So it's nice. Uh, I'm glad it's something a little bit different to the classic um, pillow spray. 
I'm not really sure why it's motion activated. If you know, let me know in the comment section down below. So this is 75 ml worth at 20 pounds, an activated fragrance with Lang Lang, Neroli and Patchouli designed to influence mood and reduce stress through brain imagining, imaging technology. Okay, that sounds very scientific, but uh, I think it's just a pillow spray. Uh, okay, uh, next up we have um, a face mask, like a single face mask. I think these are brilliant if you are struggling to fall asleep or if you have a headache. If you haven't tried it yet, this is one of those uh, self-heating eye masks. Uh, very, very relaxing. So let's see. Self-heating eye mask Hanjel or Hanjel and Hanjel. Okay, so I don't know why they are, these two products are actually mentioned as one thing in this kind of like a uh, leaflet here. So I guess the eye mask is worth $3.95 and this Hanjo, which is like 30 mils, is worth $3.50. I'm not sure why they're actually mentioned together, but it is what it is. Uh, this season's extras. Oh, because these are extras, so that is cool. So these season's extras include a self-heating eye mask that promotes bedtime relaxation and a pocket-sized gel that softens, fragrances and cleanses the hands. So these are extras, okay. So the gel itself is by Nukes and this is in their honey scent, that is amazing. Honey fragrance, a hand cleansing gel. So there's that. I always have uh, things like that in my handbag, so that's going to be definitely quite useful. Next up we have uh, something by Margaret Dubs and this is Pure Hand Hand Mask. And we have 35 mils. So this is what it looks like and it comes with this kind of like a spatula. I really like uh, Margaret Dubs uh, hand product. I've tried a couple already, uh, but never a hand mask. So that's a new one uh, to test. Uh, this is, oh, okay. The RP of this product is 30 pounds. A nighttime mask designed to tackle and prevent visible signs of hand aging. It restores moisture, enhances skin texture, and boosts hydration, elasticity, and collagen production. Okay, so I definitely like that one. And uh, next up, we have something by Nukes. And this is again from their Honey Range Honey Lip Balm, ultra nourishing and repairing. And this is 15 grams, perfect for very dry, damaged lips. So this lip balm is worth 13 pounds, a nourishing blend of honey, plant oils, shea butter, and grapefruit essence, and ensures lasting hydration and protection, perfect for colder weather. So let's have a closer look. I think I had that before and I think I really liked it. I mean, uh, in particular, the honey scent. Yeah, it smells like oranges, actually. I remember that product now. I really liked it. This is like a perfect nighttime lip product. I prefer to keep like lip treatments in a pot on my nightstand as opposed, uh, you know, to having them in my handbag. Obviously, when I'm out and about, um, it's not really very hygienic to just dab your finger in a product. So it definitely works better as a kind of like at home treatment or like nighttime treatment. But I remember using it uh, some time ago and I really liked it. So it's quite nice to find it again uh, in a box like that. So yeah, okay, we're almost done. We have two more products and I'm going to show you the pyjama set that we have uh, this month or this season. So the remaining two products are by L'Occitane and this is the Almond Hand and Nail Cream. And this is 30 mils. And then we have uh, the Almond Shower Oil and this is 75 mils. So this is hand cream and shower oil duo. The cream works to nourish and soften your hands, whilst the oil transforms into a light milky foam in a shower, which cleanses the body gently without drying, both in a luxury almond scent. So the hand cream is supposed to be worth nine pounds and then the shower oil is worth seven pounds. Okay, so there's that. It's time to reveal our pajamas and this is the pattern. I love this pattern for autumn. Look at that. So we have this kind of like long sleeve shirt. Uh, the fabric is very soft and nice. It's usually very similar fabric in, um, in terms of like jama box pajamas. And then we have like long trousers to go with it. These are the cuffs here. These pajamas tend to be very comfortable. I really love the fabric uh, that they're made of. Uh, so these are pretty much the only pajamas I wear recently. Uh, I'm really glad it has like long sleeve and like long trousers. And I really, really like this pattern here. So that is very exciting. Okay guys, so this is everything in uh, this season's uh, drama box. What do you think? I think I really like this box, but let me just quickly recap what we actually got uh, this season. So we had this Murad um, cleanser, 200 mils. We had 
uh, this uh, stress check mood manager by this work which is like a little bit like elevated uh, sleeping spray isn't it uh, then we had uh, bond builder by Philip Kingsley Temple Spa Toning Essence. Uh, we had two products by L'Occitane, a hand cream and a shower gel. We had some uh, Margaret Dabbs hand mask, some lip mask by Nux. Uh, then the Nux um, hand gel, a single space mask. And then lastly, Kate Somerville anti blemish treatment, uh, which is probably the only product I will not be using out of this whole lot. So yeah, I do think this was a really good box. I honestly love the products inside. As I mentioned, there's only one product I will not be using, but that is fine. Everything else is so much up my alley, so I can't really wait to, you know, test these products out now. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. For more beauty-related content, check those videos over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.